I would like to know what uh, the leaders of China are doing to combat climate change. What is the government doing towards like fighting car pollution and helping um, stop climate change? Chinese leaders attach great importance to climate change. As early as 16 years ago, President Xi Jinping famously said, green mountains are gold mountains and the silver mountains. In September last year, President Xi announced that China aims to have CO2 emission peak before 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality before 2060. Recently, China introduced a working guidance and an action plan in this field. This fully demonstrates China's commitment to addressing climate change as a major country and our strategic determination to pursue green, low carbon, and circular development. President Xi gave a comprehensive and a systematic account of the vision of building a community of life for man and the nature at the Leaders' Summit on Climate last April, contributing Chinese wisdom and the solutions to climate change and the environmental governance. At the COP15 recently held in Kunming, Yunnan province, President Xi called for working together to build a community of all life on Earth. Giant Panda, which is the people's favorite in many countries, has been downgraded from endangered to vulnerable on a global list of species at risks of extinction. And its number in the wild has grown from more than 1,100 to over 1,800 now. As we speak, the COP26 is taking place in Glasgow. At the summit, President Xi called upon all parties to uphold multilateral consensus, focus on concrete actions, and accelerate green transition in our united action to tackle climate change and to protect the planet, our shared home. Speaking of human impact on climate, many people would think of vehicle emission. China has been making hard efforts to reduce vehicle emissions and encouraging green transport, and such efforts have paid off. China's stage six vehicle emission standards implemented in most of the country are one of the most stringent in the world, stricter than those in the United States. In other words, many cars running on American streets right now are prohibited in China. At the same time, China's industry of new energy vehicles has developed tremendously, with a total of six million new energy vehicles that is to say, half of the world's new energy vehicles are running on the streets of China. China has built 1.87 million charging piles and a fast charging network covering 176 cities and more than 50,000 kilometers, so that those vehicles can really go far and wide without hassle. It only took Tesla one year to build its first super factory outside the US in Shanghai, with an annual output of 450,000 vehicles. Last month, the number of Tesla's superchargers in China exceeded 1,000. Elon Musk Tesla CEO said, I really think China is the future. The Chinese government also encourages people to go green in transport. We implement 
a policy to limit vehicle traffic based on the end number of license plates. In Beijing, nearly one-fifth of the vehicles cannot go on public road on a working day, and the people can choose to carpool or take the subway. The past few years have seen an explosive growth of shared bicycles in China. Take out your phone, scan the QR code, and you have the most trendy, convenient, and a green means of transport in a few seconds. There are now less than 100 days to go before the Beijing Winter Olympics, which will be the first Olympics in history to use all green and clean energy. We have made full use of the venues and the facilities of the 2008 Summer Games and adopted ice-making technology with almost the zero emissions to turn the water cube into an ice cube. Green will be the most prominent color of the Beijing Winter Olympics.